What's up guys, it's me, Tony G, coming to you from Horseshoe Casino, Baltimore. This is episode 96 of my vlog. In this episode, it's Saturday afternoon, we're here to play some cash poker. Well, it's Saturday morning, almost afternoon. Anyway, we're here to play some cash poker, one three, no limit. We're gonna go with a $200 buy-in to start. I hope you guys enjoy it, here we go. Real quick, before you get into the episode, do me a favor. This is your first time here. Make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. It helps the channel out a lot. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. Appreciate the support. Let's get into the episode. Okay, and one of the first hands I get into, uh, I have King Jack off. I'm on the button. It limps uh, around and I make it $6 to go. And nothing special happens. Uh, essentially, the board comes ace high. I didn't connect with anything. Uh, didn't even come close to connecting with anything. I tried to take it down by betting uh, post flop. Got one caller, didn't really work. He wound up betting a large amount uh, on the river, and I just had to uh, muck my cards. I wasn't going to waste 30 or 40 bucks when I know the guy probably had an ace. later I have the ace of clubs the five of hearts I'm in middle position it limps to me I make it six dollars to go and just the small blind and I are in this so we're heads up to the flop which is the seven six jack with two spades the small blind bets six dollars I call with the ace high right now and the turn doesn't help it's the king of clubs still didn't hit anything the small blind decides on another bet of $6, and uh, I'm not going anywhere for $6, so I call. The river, 10 of diamonds, again, doesn't help us. I've got nothing other than an ace high. The small blind bets $20, and I uh, just muck my cards. All right, I'm in the big blind. I have the king of spades, the queen of diamonds. The middle position makes it seven. Gets around to me, and I make it 14 to go. The uh, under the gun folds, and middle position, three bets all in for $44. Obviously, I'm not going anywhere. I call the $44, and we are heads up to the whole board. The board runs out favorable for us. It is the... Ten of diamonds, the queen of spades, the jack of spades, the six of spades, and the three of spades. He shows trip tens or a set of tens, I'm sorry. And uh, he just gets rivered and uh, we take down the uh, small all-in pot there by the middle position. Orbits 
later, I have the ace of clubs, the ten of spades. I'm in middle position. It limps to me, and I make it ten dollars to go. We're three ways to the flop, and the flop is ten, nine, six with two clubs. It checks to me, and look at my cards, and decided just on a bet of six dollars. I probably should have bet more. Let me know down below what you think. Everybody's still in, and the turn is the two of hearts innocent card i still have top pair the under the gun this time though bets first she bets 15 dollars obviously i'm not going anywhere i call and the small blind does fold so we're heads up to the river now the river isn't a card i wanted to see it's the queen of diamonds the under the gun bets 15 again and i have to see i feel like i've had her the whole time so I do call the $15 and she shows queen 10 and I just muck my cards, got rivered. Okay, let me start this hand by saying I get into the hand with a guy who just lost $300, literally the previous hand, added on 300 to make it for the max of 400 and here we go. Okay, I have the king of clubs, the 10 of spades, I'm in the cutoff. Middle position makes it $8. I call, the button calls, the big blind calls, and the under the gun calls. Uh, we go five ways to the flop. And the flop is jack, 10, 9, rainbow. Middle position this time bets $10 after it checks to him. It gets around to me. And I just min raise to $20. Everybody else but the middle position folds. And he actually makes it $30. So obviously I'm not going anywhere with a straight draw. Uh, I call the extra $10 and to make my bet $30. And we are heads up to the turn. The turn is the gorgeous queen of spades. Just hit a straight. And I'm going to try to take as much money from this guy because he was tilted from the last hand. He down bets to $25. I was going to make it $50 or $75, but I decide just to call it $25. The river is the seven of clubs, not changing anything for me. And does not bring on anything for him, I don't think. But he throws in a bet of $80. I tank and really just tanking to decide what... Bet I'm going to make this because I'm not just going to call the 80. I want to raise it up and get as much money from him, but don't want to show my hand. So I cut out some chips and decide on a bet of 160 or 170, and then I'll let you listen to what he says. Now with those comments, I'm assuming he thought I had the straight but still tanks for a decent amount of time. It was a good 45 seconds to a minute and a half, but then he finds a call. I got a straight. Okay, so like an orbit or so later, I get back into the hand again with the guy who's very tilted. I have the queen of diamonds, the queen of spades. I'm in the big blind. The under the gun calls and the plus one raises to $12. It gets back to me and I just min raise to $24. The under the gun thinks about it, but he does call and the plus one calls and the cutoff calls. So we are four ways to the flop and the flop is Jack eight four rainbow. I bet thirty dollars. 
and only the guy who's tilted, he's plus one, he calls. So we're heads up to the turn. The turn doesn't change anything. It's a three of spades. I threw out a bet of $45 this time. I was going to bet a little bit more because I knew he probably would call, but I didn't want him to uh, think I had too strong of a hand. So I just threw out a bet of $45. He calls, and the river couldn't get any better for us. It's the queen of clubs. Now, I want him to call, and I decided on a small bet of 70. I sh probably should have did more. 70 looks like I have a good hand. If I would have did 125, 130, he might have thought I was bluffing and called. But after he hears the count from the dealer, he says, no way, not doing it. Slams his cards down and then bangs his fist on the table. And uh, that will be the end of that. And uh, we end our session a couple hands after this one. All right, forgot to update everybody. Just left the horse shield. I actually was in for about 350, out for 305, so down 45 bucks. Uh, I played a little careless here and there, and uh, yeah, I guess you know better than losing all of it. See you guys in the next episode. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And don't forget, it doesn't matter how you're living your life, as long as you're living the felt life.